Hi, thanks for catching today's edition. I'm Rob Similcare in New York. Rockers Lacuna Coil formed in 1996 and broke in the U.S. when they played OzFest in the summer of 2004. Fast forward to 2007 and they're headlining their own tour in May and have played with such bands as Rod Zombie and P.O.D. It is my pleasure to welcome Christina Scavia and Andrea Fetto and lead singers from Lacuna Coil to the table here. Nice to have you guys. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Welcome to the States. So Thank you guys you. have uh, done big things over in Europe. I'm not as up on my European metal scene as I would like to be. So Christina, give us a little description of your music. Well, our music, it's a mixture between rock and metal because it's really uh, atmospheric, but at the same time, really powerful, really aggressive, really rocky. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a combination rocky. of... And, you know, you guys are huge in Italy, Andrea. I mean, is, 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 how do Italians react to your music? Do they see it as, as heavy? Do they see it as kind of mainstream? Yeah, we, well, it is a surprise for everybody because the, there's no history about other bands doing the same thing. So everything is pretty new. We have got exposure on TV, on a magazine, which are not strictly metal. So it's pretty, um, a, a very weird situation for everybody. I mm -hmm. think they don't know how to put us. They know? don't know <laughs> quite what to do with you over <laughs> exactly. there. Well, <laughs> maybe here in the States we'll know a little bit more what to do. Now, you're, you're from, from Italy, but most yes. of your music, the lyrics are in English, right? Yes. So yeah, because our influence did, influences in the, in the beginning were from English-American bands, so it was pretty natural for us to start that way. We have a couple of songs in our native language, mm -hmm. in Italian, but... Um, we sing mostly in English. And this is not your first tour in the States, but how do you find the reception here? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, every night we get a great response, and it's a surprise, you know, coming from so far away and seeing all these people knowing your, your songs and sing along with the songs. It's something very unexpected, very mm -hmm. cool. I love to know always how bands get together. Where you guys first met, you've got six members, you two are the lead vocalists. How did you first form? I think we started in a classic way. We were friends in the beginning. We were hanging out in the same places. And um, Andrea was in the original lineup. It was already part of the, of the first nucleus of the band. And um, they asked me to do some choruses because they wanted to, to produce a promo tape to send around to, to find a deal with a label. So they, they just listened to the final result with the choruses and they liked the combination of the two voices. They, they asked me to stay and that's how the band came together. Mm -hmm. We started as friends. And here you are, still friends. Yes. And your, your first album uh, was obviously a critical success. Uh, you know, how did that, that, that change you guys as musician when your first album became such a hit? I think we have learned a lot because in the beginning we, we had not really a clue of what was, go, was going on in the music business. I mean, being a professional musician, we didn't know what, what it exactly means to, to tour, to stay away from home for a long time, to share the same bus with the six people every night, so to, to have not so much privacy for yourself. So I think we have really learned uh, that music, being a famous musician or a, a big band doesn't mean that you only make a lot of money, or you, only, you only sign an autograph, you mm -hmm. only take picture with the fans. It makes you, you got to sacrifice a lot of your life for this and, yeah. and you have to focus and to dedicate a lot. Of, of As you guys... Blessed. I mean, yeah. it's an awesome job, but it's a hard... I, I, it is a good job, it. and we were talking before the show, I mean, you guys have just started your tour here, you're in New York today, you're going to Philadelphia, and this is a yeah. two-month tour in the States. Yes. A long way from home. long way from home, and actually, when we're going to be home, we're going to start um, the summer festivals. <laughs> so, mm. It just keeps going. <laughs> Rocks never stops. When you, when you come to the States and you tour, and you're touring with American bands that play in an American style, does some of that rub off on you? Do you find yourselves becoming a little bit more Americanized, a little bit different in the way you approach your music? In a way, I would say so, because we, we always like to learn um, from, from the people we're working with, and definitely American bands have a, a different kind of live impact, especially during the live shows. Mm. So we like to, I don't want to say steal some tricks, but it's, it's pretty natural that you, Every you take what thief, you right? like yeah. and you just personalize it. So in a way, I would say that we definitely change our stage presence. Yeah, sometimes in Italy, they, when they see our live show, they say, oh, you, you look like one of those American bands, <laughs> like very, very experienced, like mm -hmm. you know how to, to let the crowd go in with the show. And we take it as a compliment. Was there one moment in OzFest back in 04? I mean, you guys, obviously, Ozzy Osbourne was a part of that. I mean, mm -hmm. was there one moment, was it maybe when you saw Ozzy that you were like, wow, you know, we're in America, we're touring with like some pretty big names here. Definitely, definitely. I mean, it was kind of kind of crazy. I remember that I've been to the press conference before the, the first OzFest 
and I was just like sitting in a in a room for the for the for the press conference itself, you know, with Ozzy, Sharon, and <laughs> you know, Slayer were there, Judas Priest were there, Phil and Selma from Pantera, and I was like. What am I doing? <laughs> it was kind of, was kind of. Ozzy was probably one. Ozzy was probably wondering kinda, what he was doing there as well. Crazy, you know. But that's a totally different show. So it was <laughs> unbelievable. I mean, it's so. <laughs> you know, as kids growing up, or, or when you first discover music, what was it that inspired you in Italy to to get into this form of music? Was it Italian musicians doing this, or were you looking overseas? No, we were definitely listening to to artists coming from out of Italy because in Italy the main music is still the traditional. Mm -hmm. music sung in Italian so definitely we're looking for something different yeah and Andrea I mean did that make it hard for you guys when you were first trying to develop your sound and, and attract an audience you know obviously in your hometown were people looking at you a little bit and saying well you know we're not really quite sure where they're going with this yeah th that happened not only in the beginning but even after the first two albums there still were a lot of skeptical people that they were not sure if we had the same credibility of a band coming from the UK or yeah. from America for example so it has been a hard fight to convince people that even in Italy you can have a, uh, some credibility as a rock band and not only as a traditional band. Mm -hmm. Now you, now that you're in the States and you're on this tour, you're doing a few different things. You've got a, a little bit of an acoustic element to your tour. Tell yes. us about that. Um, it, it actually came out like a, about a year ago. Um, we've been invited in some radio stations to propose um, acoustic um, Vers versions of, uh, of our songs. Mm -hmm. And it came out so good that we, we, we started to get requests from different radio stations, TVs and, and fans as well to do something acoustic just to offer a different side of the Kuna Coil. And so we started to add it to some of the shows and now we put together a little uh, Ovation Guitar Tour uh, where we are meeting the fans, the fans are coming to, to this little clinics, uh, huh. listening to the songs and uh, uh, giving questions to the band, meet the band, get stuff signed. Yeah. So it's it's amazing, you know, that that you can be able to show a different face of the band because you can rock on one side, but you can definitely offer something more more atmospheric Unplugged with more feeling, bit. more yeah. intense. And I mean, as intimate. vocalists, you guys both being lead vocalists, you know, what challenges does that represent for you when you're doing things on that acoustic style? I mean, you got a little bit less to kind of hide your voice. Does that does that challenge you a bit more? Yeah, a lot. Especially Especially in my voice, actually, because she is more the melodic part anyway, because of the range of vocals that she can do. So for me, being the more rock part of the band, it's definitely a challenge to learn how to sing in a clean way, like harmonize with her voice. So it's very, very interesting and a very different dimension to, to our music, I think. Chris, I can't, I can't not mention it. I was reading that you are now on the hottest chicks in metal tour. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, that. But I mean, the issue of being a, a woman in this kind of very, you know, hard, usually male-dominated part of the music world, how has that impacted you? Has that, has that been difficult? Well, you know what? It's never been difficult for me because I never look at myself like as a woman in the metal scene uh, dominated by men. I just look at myself as a professionist. Um, I really believe in my potential, so it's like I don't really care, you know, mm -hmm. about the fact that I'm a woman and I'm not a man. I I totally think that I can it seems be at like the same more, level. It seems like there are more women though coming into this. Yeah, part and I'm of it. just happy about that. I mean, I'm getting a lot of mails by a lot of young girls that are looking at me as a role model, like like, hey, if she did it, that. That means that I can do yeah. that if I really want to, and that made me really proud. That's you know, makes me really happy. All of us too, indeed. <laughs> uh, Andrea, uh, tell us a little bit about the new single. The new single is going to be within me, which is a rock ballad. So we just shoot the video in Italy, in, uh, in two different locations in Italy, and uh, it's it's pretty interesting uh, video. We got like costumes, like a kind of. Uh, a uh, vampire custom, so it's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a, a little Transylvanian it's a, theme there. Huh? Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's shot it's, in it's Italy, different. but it's still different because we like to combine uh, like old-fashioned elements with something completely modern, which is which is basically the concept behind the Karma Code as well. You know, something more um, more more spiritual, more with feelings, with something more modern. Mm. So the, the video itself, it's a combination with like old clothes. Uh, really old clothes with uh, like modern jewelry, 
uh, with very modern colors and mm. in the video itself. So it's kind of cool. So when all the touring is over, you've got a big tour here in the States, then you go back home for the summer yeah. festivals you mentioned. Uh, time off or right back to the studio? What do you guys What's have planned? Time off? <laughs> <laughs> what? Listen, you sound like an American. You're <laughs> Italian. You're supposed what, what to want to take some time off. Come on, that's the European lifestyle, I thought. We don't have the siesta. <laughs> <laughs> no, but probably we're going to put us in writing mode, like writing yeah. the new album straight after the summer, like September. So we're going to have also some time off in between the writing. Yeah. All right. Well, one of the hardest Burke working bands in Europe yeah. and definitely one of the We're best. Troopers. Exactly. Thank you both so much for being Thank here. You we enjoy much, talking to you. Thank we'll you. reach. Good luck very much on the uh, U.S. tour. Again, Christina and Andrea from Lacuna Coil. Their tour dates and venues are out on myspace.com backslash Lacuna Coil. Thanks for watching this edition of The Mix. We'll see you next time.